you need to know this before it's too late. Right now, your phone might be connected to a fake cell tower, built by a hacker. And the scary part? It looks real. It sounds real. But it's a trap. Hackers are using cheap devices bought from Telegram and the dark web to eavesdrop on phone calls, steal text messages and track your location in real time. They don't need your permission. They don't need you to click anything. All they need is your phone nearby. And once your phone connects, they hear everything. This is not science fiction. This is real. And in this video, I'll show you how it works. All right, let's break this down. A fake cell tower, also known as an IMSI catcher, stingray, or DRT, is a device that pretends to be a real cellular tower, like the ones used by your phone network. Real cell towers work by broadcasting signals that your phone can pick up. Your phone constantly scans for these signals and connects to the one with the strongest signal. Think of it like tuning a radio to the clearest station. Your phone trusts the strongest signal because it usually means the closest and most reliable tower. So, if a hacker turns on their fake tower and it's closer to you than the legit one, boom, your phone connects without hesitation. And once it does, the hacker can listen to your phone calls, read your text messages, see your real-time GPS location, even identify your SIM and phone model. All of this without you ever noticing. These fake towers come in different forms like IMSI catchers, stingrays, and DRTs, but they all have the same goal, to intercept your data. So, always be cautious and aware of your phone's behavior. Now you're probably wondering, how do they actually build this setup? Honestly, it's shockingly easy. First, they get the hardware. Devices like HackRF1, BladeRF, or LimesDR are popular tools that let hackers send and receive radio frequencies. You can find them online for a few hundred dollars. Then, they set up a laptop running Kaylee Linux, a hacker-friendly OS. With that in place, they install a few key programs, OpenBTS. This is used to create a fake GSM network. It basically becomes the fake tower. Yate BTS, another powerful tool that's more stealthy and customizable. Calibrate helps them scan the area for real tower frequencies. Asterisk, a VoIP server that can intercept and even record phone calls. Once it's all configured, they launch the network using a fake name like ATANDT or Vodafone. Your phone picks it up, sees it as the real thing, and connects. From there, the hacker has full control over your network activity. Hackers often find and buy these tools on the dark web, telegram hacking groups, or hacker forums. They face technical challenges like signal interference and detection by authorities. To overcome these, they use advanced tools and techniques to stay undetected. The hacker's mindset is driven by curiosity, challenge, and sometimes financial gain. Setting up fake towers gives them a sense of power and control over the digital world. They meticulously monitor the network, ensuring they capture valuable information. For them, successfully setting up a fake tower is a significant achievement, and it's just the beginning of their next big exploit. And here's the wild part. These tools, they're not hidden in some secret underground forum. Most of them are open source and publicly available. Hackers often use OpenBTS and YateBTS, both of which you can download from GitHub. Then there's Asterisk, the VoIP server I mentioned earlier. It's used to reroute and record voice calls. For analyzing data, they turn to Wireshark, a powerful tool that lets them inspect all the packets flowing through their fake tower. And to automate things like SIM tracking or call redirection, some use pre-written IMSI catcher scripts found in Telegram hacking channels. Honestly, with just a bit of research, a laptop and some radio gear, a college student could pull this off in a weekend. It's that accessible. There are countless tutorials online that walk you through the process. Open source repositories on GitHub provide the necessary code and tools, and Telegram channels are buzzing with hackers sharing tips and scripts. For example, setting up a fake cell tower can be done with a few commands. Imagine intercepting calls and data with just a few tools and some know-how. The toolkit is vast, and the possibilities are endless. So it's crucial to stay informed and secure your devices. You might be thinking, this can't actually happen in real life, right? Wrong. In 2020, researchers found rogue cell towers operating near government buildings, capturing thousands of device IDs in less than 30 minutes. During protests in multiple countries, fake towers were deployed to track and log protesters' locations and SIM cards. At airports, some have used Stingray-style devices to quietly monitor the phones of VIPs or business travelers. 
these aren't isolated cases, they're happening all around the world, and in many cases, victims never find out. Remember the Snowden revelations? They exposed how governments could intercept phone communications on a massive scale. In 2018, a report revealed that hackers used fake cell towers to intercept calls and texts from high-profile targets, including politicians and CEOs. For everyday users, this means your private conversations and data could be at risk without you even knowing. Protecting your phone with security apps and being aware of suspicious activity can help safeguard your privacy. All right, so how do you protect yourself from something your phone can't even recognize as fake? Here are a few tips. Use encrypted apps like Signal or Telegram for calls and messages. These apps use end-to-end -end encryption, ensuring that only you and the person you're communicating with can read or listen to your messages and calls. These apps don't rely on your SIM card. They work over the internet. This means they bypass the cellular network, making it harder for fake towers to intercept your communications. Disable 2G networks if your phone allows it. Go to your phone settings, find the network options, and turn off 2G. This prevents your phone from connecting to older, less secure networks. Most fake towers operate on old, unencrypted 2G bands. By disabling 2G, you reduce the risk of your phone connecting to these fake towers. Download an app like Snoop Snitch for Android. This app analyzes your phone's network activity and can alert you if it detects a suspicious tower. It can warn you if you've connected to a suspicious tower. Avoid using SMS-based 2FA. SMS messages can be intercepted by fake towers. Instead, use Authy or Google Authenticator. These apps generate time-based one-time passwords, TOTPs, that are more secure than SMS-based codes. For extreme privacy, consider using Faraday bags or eSIM-only devices that are harder to spoof. Faraday bags block all signals to and from your phone, while eSIMs are more difficult for fake towers to exploit. No solution is perfect, but the goal here is to make yourself a difficult target. Encrypt your data, use a VPN to secure your internet connection, and stay informed about the latest security practices. Minimize your exposure and stay one step ahead. The truth is, our phones trust too easily. They assume any tower with a strong signal is safe. Hackers exploit that trust, with cheap gear and free software. And just like that, your private conversation becomes public knowledge to someone you'll never see. If you value privacy, now's the time to take it seriously. Like subscribe and share this with someone who still thinks their phone is safe. I'm dropping more advanced cybersecurity content every week, so don't miss it. Stay private, stay encrypted, see you in the next one. Remember, the risks are ongoing. Keep learning and stay vigilant. Comment your experiences or questions below.